Welcome to this Wiseal training video. In this short little session, we're going to talk to you a little bit about how to apply basic conditional formats to cells in Excel. So the idea is the starting point is a nice simple list here. We've got a list of films or movies and we've got all sorts of categories of information. So we have some text, we have some dates and we have some numbers as well. So the first idea is we're going to format some of our cells. If I scroll along here to the right a little bit, we're going to format our Oscar nomination cells. So the idea is I'd like to highlight the cells or the films that have a small number of Oscar wins or nominations. I'd like to highlight the cells with a high number of Oscar nominations in a different color and so on and so on. And the best way to do that is using something called conditional formatting. So the starting point is to highlight all of the cells that I want to test the condition on and that I might want to format. So there are several ways to highlight a block of cells in Excel. The common, fairly easy way to do things is to click and drag with a mouse. So I start at cell I2 and start dragging downwards. I'll be going for quite a long way because I've got about 160 films in this list. So not the easiest way, or not the quickest way at least, to select a block of cells. Slightly more quick is to use a keyboard shortcut, as every good geek knows keyboard shortcuts are the quickest way to do anything in Excel. So to do this, I'm going to click on cell I2 up at the top here. Then I'm going to hold down the control key and the shift key on my keyboard and tap the down arrow key. Once I've done that, you can see that it jumps all the way down to the end of my list. It stops just before the next blank cell and it highlights 160 rows See, I'm down to row 161. So when I've done that, I've got all my cells selected. I'm just going to head up to this tool here, the Conditional Formatting tool, which is on the Home tab of the ribbon, by the way. So I'm going to click the Conditional Formatting drop-down list. And then I've got to look at the choice of conditional formats I can apply to these cells. I'm actually going to stick with the Highlight Cells rules in this tutorial. We're going to deal with the, uh, the slightly more exciting options in a different video. So this one's highlight cells rules. Now when I hover with the mouse over this option I get a couple of quick links. So I can highlight cells that have a value greater than something or less than something and so on. Unfortunately the one that I wanted to begin with isn't in this list. I want to highlight the cells who have a value of less than or equal to two. So films that have been nominated for two or fewer Oscars. So to get access to the option that I want, I'm going to head down to this list option down at the bottom, More Rules, and click on this instead. This opens up the, uh, the Formatting Rule dialog box, and I've got a little bit more power now over how I create my format. So here we go, I want to format cells that have a cell value that is not greater than, so I click the drop down arrow here. I want to format cells less than or equal to, and I can simply type in the number 2 in this next box. The next job is to apply a different format to those cells. So I can hit the Format button here. And then I can look at the Format Cells dialog box and do various things. I could change the number format if I wanted to. I'm going to leave that for now. I could change the font. Maybe I'll change the font color, make it sort of a dark red, like so. Maybe I can apply a border to the cells if I wanted to. I'm going to leave that out for now. But the biggest visual impact you can have is changing the fill color or the background of the cell. So I'm going to pick one of these sort of pale pinky colors for my cells. Choose OK. I get a little preview of what the cells that match my condition will look like when I click OK. And when I do that, there we go. So I can see in the background already all of those cells that match my condition, two or less, have been formatted in pink. The cool thing, one of the cool things at least about conditional formatting is that I can apply more than one condition to the same block of cells. So I'm going to select that same range of cells again using that same keyboard shortcut. I click on cell I2, hold down Control Shift, tap the down arrow key. Once I've done that, I'm going to head back to conditional formatting and pick the highlight cells rules option again. This time I'm going to go with one of the quick links. The option called between is the one that I want here. So when I choose that option, Excel automatically guesses what numbers I want. It picks the numbers 4 and 11. Now inevitably, whenever Excel guesses something, it tends to get it wrong. So I'm going to modify the values here just by overtyping the number 4 with the number 3. 
And I'm going to say, instead of 11, I'm going to put 10. So I want films that have won or have been nominated for between 3 and 10 Oscars. Now I'm not going to go with the suggested format here, which is red background with red text. I've already done that. I'm going to pick one of the other options in this list. I could also go to the custom format and build my own format, but I'm going to cheat. I'm feeling a bit lazy right now. Yellow fill with dark yellow text. Hit OK. And there we go in the background. You can already see those cells formatted. One last format to apply to these cells. Head back to conditional formatting. Choose highlight cells rules. And this time I'm going to choose a quick link again, greater than. Excel guesses what number it thinks I want. Again, it gets it wrong. So I'm going to type over that with the number 10. And again, pick a quick format here and choose OK. Excellent. So if I scroll all the way back up to the top of my list now, I should be able to see I get the cells with two or less as pink, cells between three and ten with orange or yellow, and cells that are more than ten in green. Another neat thing about conditional formatting is that it will always change the formatting to match the current values of the cells. So if I pick a film that hasn't got any Oscar nominations, like, let's see, Evan Almighty there, tragic oversight, that it wasn't nominated for any Oscars, I can enter a new value in the cell, let's say 5, and then hit enter, and Excel will automatically format that cell to match the new value. So I can just change that one back again, and the formatting will change back as well. Nice and easy. If I did want to make any changes to the formats themselves, like maybe I don't like this pink colour, then I could change the formatting or conditions of anything that I've already applied. To start with, I'll click on a cell that has the conditions applied to it, head back to the conditional formatting tool, and choose the option here called Manage Rules. When I've done that, I can see a long list now of all the formats that are currently applied to the cells I've got selected. So it says Current Selection at the top. This is the cell that I have selected. And I can click on any of these cells here, and if so, beg your pardon, any of these options, and then click the Edit Rule button to make some modifications. So there we go. I'm back in the same place I originally set up this format. I'm going to click the Format button. And I'm going to pick a, let's see, maybe a pale purple colour instead of a pale pink. Choose OK. There we go, there's the modification. Choose OK again. And one last time. And it's not a dramatic change, but there we go, just to prove that you can do it. Should I want to get rid of any of my formats? That's fairly straightforward as well. If I head to the Conditional Formatting tool, I can find the option down here called Clear Rules. Now I can either do this from the cells that I've selected in the background, so I've only got one selected at the moment, or I can clear them from the entire sheet, which deletes all of the conditions I've applied to the same worksheet. But I'm going to leave mine as they are. OK, so that's the basic idea of conditional formatting in Excel. You pick a bunch of cells, you say what condition they should be formatted under, and you choose what format to apply when that condition is met, and then everything else works dynamically. The next videos in this little sequence are going to talk to you about how to use data bars and exciting icon sets. And then finally we'll look at how you can use formulas or formulae or calculations to format one cell based on the condition in another. But that's for another video.